Today we're talking about the banned items under managed payments and where it stands right now. Hey, it's Don. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about managed payments, the banned items on that list. Now I've dug into this as much as I can. There's not much out there. eBay hasn't given us any form of update whatsoever at all since the initial start of the big push to get everybody else into managed payments. The whole idea that items were banned in the first place was fairly well hidden until the very last minute and most people didn't even realize that those items could be sold under managed payments until they were already in managed payments. Obviously, it caused a big stir. There are some folks who haven't been pushed over into managed payments because of this. Now, before we go any farther, managed payments have been around for over a year right this very minute, and eBay has had ample time to gather in those other items into the process here to include them back in. What's banned? So what is banned? Now, coins of any type, and not just coins, but anything in that coin category, a token, even a wooden nickel can't be listed under eBay's policy from what I see because mine were removed instantly the minute I joined managed payments. Bullion, gold, silver, platinum, all banned. Adult material, tickets, um, some other items are banned as well over all of managed payments. Again, this was something they just threw on everybody, and most people hadn't a clue until they entered into managed payments. Again, you don't have a choice. eBay is stating that they will have the majority of everybody on managed payments by 2021, fast approaching. Now, my question again is, what's going on with the items that eBay has banned? They've been telling us, again, over a year this has been going on with no change whatsoever. No updates, no nothing. At this point, if they're going to do an update in fourth quarter, I just can't see that happening. And even if they do, I doubt at this point they're going to add those items back in. And I know some people may think, well, what's the big deal? The big deal with that is there's tons, thousands and thousands of people out there that have been selling this stuff that have money tied up in merchandise to sell with these items. Just before the announcement, just before people started to find out about the banned items on here, people had bought thousands and thousands of dollars. I personally know somebody who spent over $10,000 right before they were supposed to go into managed payments without knowing that they can't sell the items they bought, coins. And eBay would not give them an exemption not to be forced into managed payments because those items weren't in their store yet. So they were screwed. They bought these items. They can't return them. There's not a lot of markets out there for certain items. There are some places you can sell coins if they're slabbed and things like that. Slabbing a coin, grading a coin does cost money, so a lot of people may not want to do that. Also, I've looked into the payment processing systems, and most of them do ban gold, silver, bullion in general, and coins. And they also ban items that they consider to be very risky items or that have a lot of fraud involved in them. Now, if you watch the news at all, there's a huge case that just finally came down with almost a billion dollar fine levied against the biggest bank in this country, the U.S. of A., and that's J.P. Morgan. They were caught manipulating the price of gold and silver to their benefit. Had people in charge of these departments, in charge of gold and bullion and such forth, at the leading bank in this country were doing this. Again, this is just the one that was caught. The gist of this scam is that J.P. Morgan was inflating the cost of gold when they went to sell it, so they could sell it at a higher price. And how they did this, they would use spoofing offers, spoofing bids. They would basically put an order in to purchase something, and they'd put a bunch of these in. They had no intention on actually completing those sales. They were just putting in a whole bunch of orders because that would make the demand for gold, silver, whatever they wanted it to be, much higher. And what happens when the demand goes up, the price goes up. So they would inflate the price by making fake offers, fake purchase orders throughout the entire system. Three heads of departments were actually doing this. So it's not some isolated thing. Not only that, they were doing it for more than eight years. More than eight years they had been doing this. They probably made billions and billions of dollars, tens of billions of dollars probably from doing this for that length of time. So a billion dollar fine to them is nothing. It's cost of doing business to them and nothing more. 
didn't learn anything from it if they made tens of billions of dollars. Who cares if it's a billion dollars? That's just how much fraud is there. Now, they could also manipulate it in the other direction as well by pulling off and holding off bids so that the price would be lower so that when they went to buy items, the price would be lower. The next week, they could go ahead and artificially inflate it again with a whole bunch of offers, and then the price would go up so they could sell it and immediately take a return on that. Now, the spoofing is illegal now, but it wasn't before 2008 when the housing crash crashed. That's when this came an issue and they stopped them from doing it. So if you're holding off and putting in fake offers just to raise the price, that should have always been illegal. I can't believe that this type of thing would have been allowed in the first place. Does eBay want to get involved with stuff like this? Maybe not. Maybe this whole time eBay does not have an option to bring these in and they just don't care because they're getting so much more money from that huge increase of profit they're going to get by recouping all of the costs for processing funds instead of letting PayPal get it. They're set to get billions of dollars from the way it looks right now from the reports I've read. Some of them come from eBay from the processing of all these payments, which may far outweigh what they could have possibly made from selling these items on the site. Maybe there's something else to it, maybe not, but the fact that they have been totally and completely silent on anything going on with these banned items leads me to believe that they just don't care to sell those items. Some good reasons why not to sell them and some bad reasons why not to sell them. Now, with like J.P. Morgan, anybody who was buying gold and silver to invest in was probably overpaying because of their schemes that they were doing for the last eight years. That could take a tank on what gold and silver is. That could pretty much ruin part of the reputation of the high standards gold takes and why people invest in it to begin with. If the whole structure of why gold is valued the way it is, just like diamonds. Diamonds has a commodity on them. They hoard diamonds so that the price stays up. This is similar similar to the same structure with the gold market. Again, it's, it's disgusting that they did stuff like that. I sell and buy gold as well, too. Obviously, my gold is bought from reselling, so I don't spend much on it. This sort of thing does tend to help people like me because I'm selling it. And I can sell it at a high price. But the whole fact that they're doing that scares me with the whole gold and silver market to begin with. Maybe this is something to do with eBay and they don't want to be involved. Maybe there's cases that are going on that we haven't a clue on. And eBay, again, doesn't want to be involved because manipulation on the prices of gold and silver could be tied to some transactions on eBay. eBay could be deemed as being able to allow it when it shouldn't be. Who knows? The whole point of it is these are all risky markets to begin with, especially when the biggest bank in this country was caught doing it and has to pay a billion dollar fine. So where do we stand with these items, with adult material, adult magazines, pinups and things like that, tickets, gold, silver coins? Where do we stand? Nobody knows. Nobody knows at all but eBay. And eBay isn't telling us a single solitary thing as to what is going on or what isn't going on with gold and silver. Fourth quarter is here. It's already here. This is the best time to sell gold, coins, silver, bullion, adult magazines. Whatever you are selling, this is the best time. But you can't sell them now. We lost hundreds and hundreds of listings over all the fiasco and going into managed payment to begin with. No listings, no updates, or anything with that. So if you're in managed payments and eBay ended a bunch of your listings, they're only going to stay in your store for so many days after they have been ended with no action. So if you still have them in your store and you're waiting to see what happens after 90 days, those listings will probably be gone and you will have to relist all of those items. Now we use Inkfrog and some other services, so I do have copies of all of those listings. But for those who don't, you may just lose those listings, even if in say two months down the road, you're still able to sell those items, you'll have to relist them all from scratch just to get them back up on eBay. There are ways to save and do things, but none of them are convenient or easy. And if you didn't know that, and you've already been on managed payments for over 90 days, those listings could already be gone and you may never be able to bring them back. So there's a lot going on here. eBay really needs to let everybody know what's going on with those banned items. Again, I know a lot of people who are sitting on merchandise that they bought, not knowing that eBay was going to block them from selling these items, not allowing them to wait on managed payments either, regardless of the fact that they have $10,000 plus dollars invested in items. We ourselves have thousands and thousands of dollars invested in coins and vintage 50s and 60s pinup magazines as well, which again, we cannot sell 
sell on eBay at the present state. So it is something they should be letting people know. It is not right or just for the sellers to be left hanging on the line here, so to speak, without any idea knowing if they can get that money back through eBay or what they need to do. Obviously, as I said, there are some other areas you can sell these at, local auctions and things, but you always get the most money for most of these items from eBay. If you blow them off now because you don't know what's going on with eBay, eBay may allow them at some point, and then again, you're SOL. It's just not a good practice to leave people hanging in the dark like this. They should just say, no, we're not going to allow them, or yes, we are, we're still working them. Something, even a simple update of any kind would be helpful to anybody out there. This affects every single person on the platform that wanted to sell these, has these items, or even thought about it in any way, shape, or form. It can affect a large number of people. Most people I know do sell some of the adult magazines, the 50s, 60s, pinup style, as well as coins and bullion when they find them. I do sell tokens and things also, and I find tokens quite often. I still buy them as of right now because of the price, and I do have some secondary markets, but again, eBay is the best market for this. I just think that at this point in time, being fourth quarter right upon us, right this very second, they should give us an update one way or the other. Let us know something. It's all people ask for is for them to be transparent. One of eBay's biggest problems is they don't share information with us until it pretty much screws people over or we're stuck in a position where we're losing money or have money sitting here we can't do something with. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gives you some thoughts, some ideas. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. are the cookies with delicious real fruit inside. Real apple, blueberry, strawberry, blueberry, and fig, but sorry. We have no banana today.